are you someone with a new Nikon camera or an existing Nikon camera like me with the new Nikon Z6 III, which by the way has fantastic autofocus? Well, here are some of the things that I feel you should know about the settings for setting up your video for the best results out of your new Nikon camera. Now, I should note that some of these settings will appear in other cameras by other manufacturers and they will be named different things, but get to know your video settings and some of these will be familiar when you see them and adjust them so that you get the best results out of your videos. If you're a videographer, a YouTuber, or just someone that wants great videos, keep watching. Now let's grab our Nikons and get to the basic settings. Now, like I said, for reference, I'm using the Nikon Z6 III, so some of these will show up in the menu settings that obviously are from that camera and will appear that way. Now, more often than not, most videos that people film will include people, whether you're filming yourself, filming weddings, family, documentaries, or whatnot. A lot of times your main video will include people. So let's start there. But if you're not shooting people, please don't skip this section because some of this may still apply to you. We don't know yet. So follow along. First, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu button on your back of your camera to open your menu settings. Then you're going to scroll down to focus mode. You're going to want to scroll to select AFF, which is the mode Nikon has specifically made for filming video. It's a little different than when you're shooting photography in, our, in AFC, which is continuous. This is specifically for filming. Your fo autofocus is on all the time. Next, you're going to want to scroll to AF area mode, where there are multiple options for where you can have the camera focus from single point to several wide areas, subject tracking. But the one I recommend the most and use most often is audio area AF, which uses the full size of the sensor, sensor to detect objects in your camera. Now, we're gonna go back to the main menu for the next important feature. Right below AF area mode, you will see AFMF subject detection options. In here, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure that AF, when subject not detected, is turned on because you'll always want your autofocus to be working no matter what's in front of your lens. Now for subject detection, by default, this is going to be set to auto, but you're gonna have several different options as well. People, animals, vehicles, airplanes. If you're filming people and you know you're filming people and you don't want the camera distracted, just keep in mind you can switch it to just focus on people. Like for example, if you have an animal walking through the frame, you may want to put it on people alone so that the camera doesn't get confused. And most often though, I have it on auto. You can also set these up to easily be changeable in your eye menu on the back of your camera so you can get to them quicker than going through your menu. Now next, we have two more things to dial in and they are in a completely different part of the menu. So let's go back to the camera again and check those out. Now, um, from the main menu, you're going to click on the left-hand side, you're gonna select the pencil menu and scroll down to G for video. Then you're gonna to go to G5, which is where you select your AF speed. This by default is set to zero, but Nikon gives you the option to speed it up or slow it down. Now be cautious here though. If you speed it up, you can sometimes make it look too digital, I guess you could say, if that makes sense. And it's a bit jarring to the eye. I usually set mine around minus one to minus two, and then select when to apply as always. This to me makes the autofocus seem much more natural and smooth, but I definitely recommend experimenting with it to see what you like best for your tastes and for your video productions. Now, lastly, let's go back to your main pencil menu from the start and go to G6, which is for AF tracking sensitivity. This is a little bit different. Now what this does, it determines the level which the autofocus kind of sticks to the subject. 
And I usually tend to, while it may seem counterintuitive, lower this down by one notch as it tends to keep the autofocus from wandering around a bit. So you know that I mentioned earlier that you may want to change your subject detection on the fly. That's your auto, animals, cars, planes, etc., whatever. What I did was I made this an option in my I menu. Now, to do this, you need to go back into your now familiar pencil section of your menu and select controls. Then under there, you'll select F1 for customize I menu. Then you're gonna see 12 options. These you can have as your I menu and you select one you want to change, one that you're not going to use and hit OK on the back of your camera. Then you will make one of these your subject detection selection and you'll easily be able to access that information via your I menu versus going through all the menu and the menu buttons. Now just to show you quickly what happens when I select that by first hitting the I button on the back of the camera, it'll bring up the uh, I menu and highlighting the subject detection icon and then hitting OK. You will see both your AF area mode that you said earlier and your AF MF subject detection modes, which you also said earlier. Now you can scroll easily through these and change them. Even if you have the camera to your eye, your muscle memory will learn how to move around the back of your camera with your, with your thumbs on the camera. Now one thing I didn't cover in autofocus setup is subject tracking, which I'll be making another video on about in the future as it's a really specific task for your autofocus and today I just wanted to get you up and running with the basics and trying to get the best out of your autofocus in your Nikon camera and get you filming. So if you found this video useful, please hit like down below. Um, it helps me out a lot with YouTube and hit subscribe while you're there so you know when I make future videos. And uh, check out the video on screen now for more exciting camera adventures and I will see you again next time.